Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals once again. Today we're going to check out a really cool contact multi-script called Zone Matrix. Um, this is a pretty complicated uh, multi-script and it requires contact to run. So before we get started and check out what it's all about, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that bell icon so you know when we go live with new videos just like this. So let's get to it. All right, everyone. So let's check out Zone Matrix and see what it's all about. Now, make sure you read the manual and also read the install instructions carefully because it will require placing a file into your native instruments folder. Um, so there is something to kind of attention to detail that you need to pay attention to there. So let's just go in and see what it does and how you load it. So we'll start with a new instance of contact here. We're going to go here, this little KSP. And then if you follow the install instructions correctly, there will be a preset here called zone matrix. We're going to click that and it loads this up. Now, nothing's going to happen until you load up some libraries. So I have some loaded over here and I'll show you what this does. So I have three different libraries loaded up, each assigned to its own MIDI channel, three channel two, and then channel one here. Now to get to zone matrix at any time, all you have to do is go here and click that. So as you can see, here we go. This is what zone matrix does. We're going to go to scene one and I've got my instruments split across the keyboard, uh, depending on note range. So instrument one is only going to play in these notes. Instrument 2 only plays in this very small selection here because I don't want it to trigger all the time. And then instrument 3 is going to be for the high notes. So what this does is it splits it across the keyboard so that we can do something like this when normally all of the sounds would play if we had these at a multi on an omni channel. So we can do something like this and use these instruments uh, one at a time in un unique creative ways. So that's just, you know, a very short example, but you can see here, instead of, you know, triggering each uh, instrument all at the same time, which is what it would normally do. So normally it would sound something like this. If we had all those three instruments on the same channel and we didn't split them up into different MIDI tracks. So this uses just one, ch uh, one track here one piano roll and does all three instruments in their own octave and it sounds like this instead. So we have just the pad triggering there, just the high notes there, and that big bassy synth comes in down here. And the bassy synth stops when you get there. Normally it would play in all of those keys. So it's just a unique way to split across, uh, to split those instruments across your keyboard. And there also are different scenes. You can transpose any of these keys up and down so that maybe you want these to be even higher on the keyboard or whatever. Um, it's, it's pretty, you know, intuitive. And we also have key switches down here. So I have to, they're default to off. So if I want the scene one to trigger on the key switch, to slide that up. So now C minus two triggers scene one, C sharp two triggers scene two, which is everything playing on its own, which you will hear as we go into this key switch here. It starts off each individual instrument separate. And then once we hit here, they all play at the same time and it's thicker sound. So 
So it's a very, you know, unique function. It's pretty niche, uh, but this is a really useful tool to divide instruments across your keyboard. It'd be really nice for live performances as well. You can switch those scenes on the fly um, and get different combinations. It's great for orchestral composers as well to you know try out new ideas maybe have woodwinds in the higher uh keys here and then strings in the middle brass in the low and you can just switch between those by going to a new scene and trying out different combinations um so it's a pretty awesome plugin i'm really glad i discovered it i'd never even heard of it before but it's very very cool and it'll take a while maybe for some of you to get the hang of it just remember to load up the multi-script first and follow the in uh, install instructions carefully uh, because it's very specific where you place this file so that it will show up in your uh, multi-script uh, preset category so that was a quick look at zone matrix i know it's pretty niche but it's very very useful and i think you'll find that it can solve some problems that some of you may be having uh, with either live performance with contact or with orchestration or anything like that so thanks for checking it out with me i will see you guys next time